If you have a messy build.gradle file or when working with a multi module project, it's helpful to centralize dependencies in a single location rather than having them spread across many build files, especially for common libraries like Android X, Room, or Firebase libraries. Let me show you how you can keep your dependencies organized and neat in a single location. Let's take a look at this mess. I have my build.gradle file. I have the retrofit dependencies right here. We have the room dependencies. And I also can have Firebase dependencies, health, dagger, and so on. So every time you add a dependency to this build.gradle file, it grows and grows and it will become a harder to maintain a good thing to do is to create a dependencies.gradle file and this will be centralized file where all of your dependencies will go so how we can create it right click on your app folder new file and call it dependencies.gradle and hit enter so basically in this file we will export the dependencies so go ahead and create an extension block and inside it you can declare your dependencies let's get back to my build.gradle and let's take a look at the retrofit dependencies the first thing we can do is to extract this common version number so let's go ahead right here and extract it. I will call it retrofit version 2.9.0. And let's go ahead and create a retrofit dependencies array. So this is a kind of a group. You can group your dependencies together. You will put the retrofit dependencies inside an array. The Firebase dependencies inside an array. The room dependencies inside an array and so on how we can declare it let's call it retrofit dependencies this and it will equal to square brackets and inside it you can declare the dependencies for the retrofit let's get back and we have the retrofit dependency itself and the moshi converter dependencies we can copy this dependency get back right here and first we can give it a name i will call it the retrofit column then in double quotation put in the retrofit dependency since we have this version number right here we can simply concatenate it inside using the dollar sign and the curly braces and then type retrofit version so now we have the retrofit dependency itself put a comma and let's get back to our file let's go ahead and delete this because we will not need it we also have the moshi converter copy it and here we can declare the moshi dependency and paste dependencies put in the version number retrofit version we can get back to our build.gradle and delete this. Let's do the same for the room dependencies. We have a common version number 2.3.0. Let's go ahead and declare it right here. Room version and it will equal to 2.3.0. And also we can create a group or an array for these room dependencies. I will call it room dependencies and it will equal to square brackets and inside these brackets we can define the room dependencies so now we have the runtime i will copy it and i will call it runtime column and paste in in a double quotation the dependencies concatenate the version number room version put a comma and let's go ahead to my build.gradle delete this so now we also need the ktx 
I'm gonna copy it ktx support I will call it ktx room ktx column and then I will paste in the dependency use the version room version comma again let's go ahead and delete this so now we need the rx java 3 support copy this and inside it i will call it room rx and paste in the dependency concatenate the version number dollar sign curly braces room version so now we have the dependencies organized and neat we have the retrofit dependencies right here and we have the room dependencies right here one quick thing make sure you don't use dashes so call it room ktx room rx and click sync now now we need to import this file because we need these dependencies that are here so how we can import it just after the plugins block you can apply from and type in the dependencies.gradle file make sure you spelled the name of the file correctly click sync now and now here inside the dependency section we can import any dependencies that is declared right here we have the retrofit dependencies we have the room dependencies right here so how we can do that i will type implementation and then type the group or the array of the dependencies for example we have retrofit dependencies dot then we can select one of the dependencies to implement it for example the retrofit itself retro fit also we can import the moshi so now i imported the retrofit and moshi let's go ahead and implement also from the room dependencies we need to import for example the runtime dot runtime so you type the dependencies group and then you can access specific dependency in this group click sync now so now we can try to use for example retrofit in our main activity to make sure the import is successful i will start typing retrofit and as you can see we have the retrofit class right here so this means we have successfully imported the dependencies and this is how you can keep your dependencies in a centralized file and keep them organized if you have any question feel free to ask me in the comment section below and if you like the video hit like and subscribe to the channel make sure to ring the bell to get all the notifications have a nice day